Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel SSC Selector. In this video, there is a rectangle given ABCD of the width 3 cm and there are 5 circles drawn as such that each circle has a radius 1 cm and they are touching each other something like this. There is a point of contact of circle with the rectangle. This is also, these are the point of contact of circles and these two points are point of contact of circle with the rectangle. We have to find the length of this rectangle. That is what will be the length of the rectangle so that it can hold five circles. Let's see how we can solve this question. AD is given as three centimeters. Radius is one centimeter. Now let us draw some lines. Draw the radius of this circle, this circle. Draw this line and this one. This is the radius of the circle. Now draw a line parallel to AB, which is passing through this center of the circle, first circle. Now this line will also be the tangent of these two circles. The reason being, AD is 3 cm and the diameter of this circle is 2 cm. So it will just touch the circle as this angle is 90 degree. This angle is also 90 degree. A straight line, perpendicular, two parallel lines and perpendicular lines. So this is the point of contact of radius with the tangent. And this line will be tangent. This line is 2 cm. This line is 1 cm. So definitely this will be our tangent. So diagram will be something like this. And now join this line. This angle is 90 degree. The reason is this is the radius of one centimeter and this is the tangent. This triangle is right angle triangle. Let's name this triangle point P, point Q. So now we are talking about triangle OPQ. In triangle OPQ, the length of OP is one plus one, two centimeter. OP is equals to two centimeter. PQ is equals to one centimeter. And angle Q is 90 degree. So we can apply Pythagoras theorem. OP square is equals to OQ square plus PQ square. OP is two. OQ we have to calculate and PQ is one. Two square is four. One, four minus one is OQ square. OQ square is three. And therefore, the length of OQ is under root 3. So the length of this particular line, OQ is square root of 3. Now, similarly, if we name this as R, we can join this PR and the length of QR will be square root of 3. And similarly, if we join this line, this line will be root 3. This line will be Three. One, two, three, four, root three. O2, OPQR, we can say this is SP. And let's say this point is U and So O2, V is one. We have to find out the length of VU. So we can say from the diagram, VU is equals to one plus root three, root three, four times. And T to U is equals to one centimeter. So four times root three and again one. So we have four root three plus two. And now friends, VU is equals to AB. So the length of AB is four root three plus two. In this case, we can generalize the length of rectangle if there are two circles, then the length will be for two circles. The length of the rectangle will be, we have to take this, this much length, which will be equal to one plus root three plus one. That is root three plus two. For three circles, 
the left will be 2 plus 2. For four circles, the length will be 3 root 3 plus 2. And for five circles, the length will be 4 root 3 plus 2. So always the length of the rectangle will be n minus 1 root 3 plus 2. So we can generalize the formula like this. And if there is only one circle, then it will make pi square and the length will be 2 and width will also be 2. I hope friends you like this video. Please like to our videos and subscribe to our channel.